Hey friends, welcome to Northview Kids TV Online. I'm so excited that you decided to join us today. We have so many great things planned, so why don't we jump right on in? Let's go. Open our eyes to see the need. Open our ears to hear the cry. The broken heart, the wounded soul, you're calling us. We will go, we will be your hands and feet. We will run, we will reach the stories. Shed the light of the love to the end of the earth. We will go, we will go, we will go. Precious 
Hi, friends. I'm Sarah, and I'm so happy to be with you here today. Oh, Miss Sarah, we're excited that you're here too. And you brought something with you. What is that? Yeah. So this is actually a lamp, but I'll explain it to you later on in the story. Okay. Mm -hmm. So actually, I was reading Psalms 119, and it reminded me of something that I want to share with you today. No way, really? What is it? So in verse 105, it says, "Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path." Do you know what that means? Um, no, not really. So it means God's word, the Bible, helps us guide us in our daily lives, just like how a lamp lights up a dark room and shows us where to go. God's word helps us to go the right direction and to help us make good decisions. Oh, I get it! I get it! That's really cool. Yeah, and it's not just about learning about good and bad choices. It also gives us a comfort and a peace to know that when we're going through difficult times, that we're not alone because God gives us hope. Oh, I did not know that. Maybe I should read the Bible a little more often. Yeah, the Bible helps us be more connected to God and to learn about His love for us. It helps us because God wanted us to know who He is. Wow, thanks for sharing, Miss Sarah. I think I want to go read Psalm 119 right now. Sounds good. So let's learn about the lesson today. Let's go. Welcome back, friends. It's Jeremiah, and I'm so glad that you're tuning in. Wait, wait a minute. Can you guys see me? It's a little dark in here. Let me turn a light on. Ah, that's better. And hey, it's actually perfect because my next song is about how God's word is a lamp unto our feet. And if you've ever woken up and tried to get a drink of water in the dark, you know how much easier it is when you turn a light on. Just like a light makes it easier for us to move in our houses, the Bible makes it easier for us to know how to handle tricky situations in our life. God gave us the Bible so that we can know Him and what He is like. It talks about how wonderful it is to obey God in His way. You see, when I was younger, there was a boy in school that seemed a little different than the other kids. He was always by himself and he didn't have a lot of friends. And I noticed that the other kids would go up and make, make fun of him. Even some of my own friends would go up to his face and call him names. And I just didn't think that was fair at all. Even though he was different, he was still loved by God. In fact, we all are. And, it, and then I remembered Psalm 139, where it says, we are all fearfully and wonderfully made. So I decided to show him kindness. And I asked him to, to sit by me at lunch and I shared my sandwich with him. Then as I was reading Psalm 119, I, I thought it was the perfect example of that story. I knew what God says in the Bible about this boy, and it didn't matter what the other kids were saying. God's word, his word gave me direction on how I should treat him. Just like this lamp is lighting up the room, making it easier to see. And we're not quite sure who wrote Psalm 119 but there's 176 verses that talk about how wonderful the Word of God is. Isn't that wild? The author of this psalm wrote a special poem that includes every letter from the Hebrew alphabet. This reminds us that the Bible can be used for every part of our lives. That means when we get, when we get into a situation where we're not sure what is, what is right or what's best, we can, we can turn to God's Word 
and learn more about who God is and grow in wisdom and obedience. Now, the writer of Psalm 119 also wants us to know that the Word of God is sweet like honey. It refreshes our soul. And our lives are better when we listen to the Lord and follow what He says. Isn't it wonderful to know know God's Word? We get to discover what God is like and who He is. And God wanted us to be able to recognize His way, which is why God gives us the Bible to know who He is. So I hope you enjoy this next song. Sit back, relax, and let's get ready to praise. Your word is like a lamb. It will guide me in all of my way. Your word is like honey on my lips. So sweet to the to learn our memory verse together. Why don't you stand up on your feet? There's going to be words on the screen and I'm going to do some action. So let's do it together. Here we go. Lord, you have seen what is in my heart. You know all about me. You know when I sit down and when I get up. You know what I'm thinking, even though you are far away. Psalm 139, verse 1 to 2. Awesome job. Let's do it again one more time together. Say it nice and loud. Here we go. Lord, you have seen what is in my heart. You know all about me. You know when I sit down and when I get up. You know what I'm thinking, even though you are far away. Psalm 139, verse one to two. Awesome job. Happy memorizing.
friends, what a sweet service we just had. Thanks so much for joining us. Don't forget to do the discussion questions at the end. But before we go, let's take some time to pray. Dear Lord, thank you for this day that you have made. Thank you that you have given us your word that we can read and learn about you and your son, Jesus. We love you so much. And all God's children said, Amen. See you next time.